Hi King Creator fans! Today we'll start with an ordinary light bulb. Wrap the light bulb in a cloth to protect ourselves in case we break it. With the tool of your choice, break the flat black end of the bulb to be able to manipulate its interior. First, take out the whole electrical system through which electricity passes when you turn on the light in your room. Leave the bulb completely empty. Carefully tap the bulb to create two holes in the glass. Be careful not to cut yourself. Get the giraffe lighter and dismantle it by removing all the screws holding the casing together. Also remove the annoying label on the side. Take off the yellow grip piece and with tweezers remove the small piece from the gas outlet. Now we can separate them. First, remove the fuel tank with cables and everything. Pull out the inner part of the long tube and disconnect the transparent hose from the gas supply outlet. Remove the metal tip and move on to the next object, which is a scary syringe. We'll only need the needle, so remove it and the cap that covers it. Cut the sharp tip with pliers and glue it to one of the ends of the tube, securing it with a bit of super glue. You know how much I love to eat ice cream, so I had to do something with all the leftover popsicle sticks. Once we've drilled the stick, cut that piece and place glue around the hole and insert the needle. When I was a child, I used to run and lock myself in the bathroom when I had to have an injection. They once tried to convince me to come out for over an hour. After bringing up my childhood traumas, let's take the wires from the dismantled lighter, strip them, and with a mini drill, make a couple of holes right above the first one. They look like two little eyes staring at us. Insert the wires, one in each hole, obviously. Twist one around the needle and leave the other one loose but pointing towards the gas outlet. Apply more super glue to make sure they don't move. If you press the button, you'll see how it creates an electrifying connection between the needle and the wires. If you add gas, well, you get the picture. Insert the needle and wires into the open bulb. Glue the board to the base of the bulb making sure it's securely fastened. Test it for quality. Take the future gas tank and with a tool, remove the metal coating. Place glue on one side of the lighter to attach it to the candle bulb or homemade candle. Connect the supply hose to the lighter's gas outlet and hot glue a screw and nut to the side of it. Cut a piece of masking tape to better secure the screw to the lighter. Just push the nut down and start supplying gas to the invention. Glue the strange electric button to the base of the lighter and proceed to the famous water bottle cap. Place glue on the inside of the lid and attach it to the button. Now it won't be so hard to press it. Let's not forget about the old, worn out fish tank motor. Glue the metal tap to the bottom of the invention. We're only a few steps away from being able to light up our dark rooms at night. Connect the tube from the motor to one of the holes in the bulb and bring the very special square battery. Put glue on one side of the battery and attach it to the bottom. You guys already know that the battery is always accompanied by the wires and clasp. After connecting the snap to the battery, we'll do the same with the cables in the switch. When the switch is turned on, the motor will start pumping air into the bulb. And by pressing the button cap together with the lighter, we will light our flame. See? Perfect for replacing the lamp in your room. It's the perfect partner in a zombie apocalypse. What do you say? At least a like? Don't I deserve that? We'll need a strong light bulb. We will also need some aluminum foil. Fold it in the short way and roll the light bulb up like I do on the screen. Close one of the ends and take out the light bulb. Actually, the light bulb won't be a part of this invention. We just needed it to give shape to the foil, which will be the container for the magic firework material. With a pair of scissors, we will cut a few slits around the edge. Now we'll need a ton of matches, so I recommend buying a whole lot of them. Look how new they are! Take one of these boxes and a container where we can put all the matches we'll need. Forewarned is forearmed. I told you we would need a lot of them. I also hope you have a big garbage can. With your hand or the help of a container, 
move the match heads into the aluminum canister until they reach the beginning of the grooves. Insert a pencil into the middle of the matches so that when we close the aluminum tabs there will be a small hole for the wick. Remove the pencil and check that everything is okay. The next step is to assemble the base that will support the container. Measure the stick using the aluminum container and mark it with a pen. Cut it with the help of a saw or hacksaw. We will need a couple of water bottle caps to hot glue to each end of the stick. They look like a small pair of tires. Clip a wooden clothespin to the stick and put more hot glue on it to attach to the container. The final step is putting the wick into the opening of the container. Our firework launcher is ready. To activate it, just light the fuse and run for your life. The magic will happen on its own. Look how beautiful it looks. What a sight to see. Let's move on to the last invention of the day. For this, we'll need a professional industrial glue dispenser. YouTube won't let me express it in any other way. Look in your bathroom for aerosol deodorant spray that keeps you from smelling like a sewer or a product that comes packaged and compressed. I, for example, will use compressed air, which for some strange reason I like to wear as deodorant. No wonder no girl ever comes near me. Install the compressed air in the glue dispenser and press the trigger until it's tight. You can't imagine what this is for. Wow! Yes, it is quite compressed. I could use it for self-defense, but we want to direct that air to a specific place. We'll do that with a transparent tube. Connect the tube to the air outlet or nozzle of the container. Cut the excess with scissors. No defense system works without firepower, so let's prepare our own. Buy an energy drink at the corner store and one of those tasty toy eggs that you can open in half. The latter will be what flies out. First, we'll have to drink the energy drink to stay awake. When I was in college, there was a time when I would drink up to three of these a day to stay awake and finish final projects. Except I would drink one called Monster. I don't know how I didn't have a heart attack. We'll need to make a hole in the base of the can with a sharp tool. Once open, insert the other end of the transparent tube and seal it with hot glue. Don't be stingy. Put enough to make sure everything runs smoothly. We're almost finished. Put the lid on the other end of the can and it's practically ready. But the point is to make it more convenient. So put the can back in the glue dispenser. Adjust it until it's fairly tight. Glue the energy drink with plenty of hot glue to the bottom of the structure. And that's it! We simply need to load our personal energetic defense system. It's very comfortable to hold. I suddenly feel like playing Call of Duty or Grand Theft Auto. I recommend that you have several lids ready because you'll surely be too lazy to go get it every time you launch it. As in my case. What do you think? It can be a much cheaper alternative to Nerf toys, and certainly more powerful. You will surely leave multiple bruises with this thing. I mean, I don't use them with living things, that's wrong. Unless it's a school bully, that son of a… He won't take our lunch away again. Tell me in the comments if your school has that typical kid who thinks he's the king of the group. There's always one. Later I'll tell you about my own experiences. Thanks for watching our inventions made out of household items today. Follow my channel if you'd like to learn more about making simple yet incredible inventions. Also, click on the link to see more videos about my amazing inventions. Click on the link to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Until next time.